kids, I'm back for another English lesson. Today, we will learn about drawing conclusions. Drawing conclusion is using information that is implied in the text. We have to read or listen carefully. We look for clues, clues, clues to make a smart conclusion. Let's try drawing conclusions from this text. Something unsafe is happening around the world. It is called the coronavirus. People become sick with fever, cough, or sore throat when they get it. It is passed through droplets from saliva, like when you cough and do not cover your mouth. People must stay indoors, away from their friends, to help stop the virus from spreading. What is happening? A. A global sickness is happening. B. There is a party in everyone's home. Or C. People stop being friends with each other. If you answered A, you are correct. A global sickness is happening. We know that this answer is correct because of the clues from the text we have listened to. Let's try another example. You must wash your hands frequently. Washing your hands can kill the coronavirus. Also, wear a face mask when going out. When you cough or sneeze, Cover your mouth and nose with a tissue or cough or sneeze into your elbow. You must also avoid touching your face. In addition, maintain physical distancing. Why should you do all of those? A. To help the virus spread out. B. To avoid getting sick. Or C. To look fashionable with a mask on. To avoid getting sick, or option letter B, is the correct answer. We know that this answer is correct because of the clues from the text we have listened to. Listen to example number 3. This building is a busy place filled with beds, medical kits, oxygen tanks, and different medicines. People in the building are sick. Although they are loved dearly, their families are not allowed inside. Only doctors and nurses who wear protective equipment take care of these sick people. Can you name the place described in the story? Yes, they are in a hospital. These clues helped us know where they are. Listen to our last example. It's 8 in the evening. The siren of the barangay mobile is heard around the neighborhood. Everyone went inside their houses. They locked themselves in and waited until 5 in the morning to go out. No one is seen on the roads except for the policemen and barangay law enforcers. Try drawing conclusions on what is happening. Cleaning up the room, dancing you guessed it right. It's curfew time. Remember to follow the guidelines set by the government to avoid being sick. Here is a fun way to remember how to draw conclusions. We draw conclusions, yes we do, we draw conclusions all the time. We draw conclusions while we read to get in the author's mind. about a character that's limping down the street then we can
I conclude that they hurt their leg or feet. If a girl shares her chocolate with everyone on the bus, then we can't conclude that this girl is generous. If a setting is described with lots of monkeys, plants, and birds, then the rainforest is where they are, you could reasonably conclude. And if a monkey steals and keeps bananas to himself, then what a greedy monkey, I would think to myself. We draw conclusions, yes we do, we draw conclusions all the time. We draw conclusions while we read to get in the author's mind. If a hero tells the truth and the conflict solve that instant, then the author wants us to conclude that honesty is important. If a kid drops things and falls a lot, even while they're sitting, then clumsy is a word I could conclude is rather fitting. runs through the flames to come and rescue us, then we can easily conclude that he is quite courageous. If you always try your best, if you're that kind of person, then I might look at you and think, now that kid is determined. We draw conclusions, yes we do, we draw conclusions all the time. We draw conclusions while we read to get in the author's mind.